Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to use a website called Open Library, which is an electronic online library where you can uh, check out ebooks that you can read on your computer or um, on a phone. Now, if you're like me, you might prefer a physical copy book to an ebook, but there are just times when an ebook is uh, the way that you can get a book that you really want to read because maybe it's not available at the library or it's checked out or maybe there's a pandemic and you're stuck at home and you just don't have access to a lot of physical books. An ebook library can be really, really useful. So I'd encourage you, even if you haven't used ebooks in the past and you prefer print books, to just give this a try if you're looking for something to read. Let me show you how it works. To get to Open Library, um, an easy way that you can get there is I've linked to it on our independent reading page, which is under other classes here on the distance learning website. I'm going to scroll down here past the quick links down to getting books. And uh, you can see here, here's the link to physical books at, in our Rehoboth School Library. If you want to request those, you can go into the catalog and find a book that we have in our school library and we'll get that to you. But um, here is a, a link to open library. So I'm just going to click on this and it'll take you to a page that looks like this. Now, the first thing you'll need to do before you can borrow ebooks from this library is create an account or sign up, which you can do right here. Click on this blue button. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address. I'd encourage you to use your Rehoboth email address. When I do this, it should tell me I can't because I already actually have an account. Um, oh yeah, here we go. So it says email already registered. But I'll just go through this like you would so you could see an example. Then you'll have to come up with a username or a screen name for yourself. Let's say I just wanted to do my first initial last name like that. It says unavailable. Someone else already has that. I'll just, let me just put a one at the end. And now it's available. Um, put in a password and confirm that password. And then I would say don't check this box. That way you'll receive fewer emails from them. Um, and then click I'm not a robot and click sign up. I won't actually click it because I already have an account. Um, but when you do that, it'll take you to another screen which should say something like success. You've created an account with Open Library. Um, it's possible they may say, please check your email and open up an email from Internet Archive to confirm your email address. I can't, it's been long enough since I made my own account that I can't remember if they do that. But if they do, just follow those directions and confirm your email address and you should be in. So now we're back here at this uh, main page. Now you can use these uh, shortcuts down here to browse the books that they have available uh, by subject. Um, they have classic books, books we love, you can see here, or they've got genres or subjects up here. I would say there's so, 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 so many books uh, that are in this e-library um, that it browsing is difficult. It's easier to come to this library uh, and find something to read if you know either the title of a book you're looking for or the series of a book you're looking for or the author, like an author that you're interested in. Um, those all make it a lot easier to search. So for example, let's say, uh, oh, first of all, you'll have to log in too. Uh, we, we, I showed you how to sign up, but I, I didn't actually log in myself. So let me click log in and you'll have to do this when you come here. Type in my email address and my password, and I'm in. And you can tell you're logged in if you see a little outline of a person right up here in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, so let's say I want to get the book Lawn Boy by Gary Paulson, which, if you haven't read it, is a great book. Um, I typed Lawn Boy into the search box and hit enter, and now it brings up um, some different books here. Obviously, the first choice is the one that's the closest to my search term, and it's the one that I want, Lawn Boy by Gary Paulson. These other ones probably just came up because something in their keywords um, matched Lawn Boy for some reason, but this is the one that we want. So I'm going to go ahead over here and go to this blue button, and this blue button is telling me uh, about the availability. If it says borrow, it means it's available for you to borrow, and you can click it. Uh, it'll take you into the book reader now, and what I would suggest is once you get into the book reader, it's a lot easier to read if you make your uh, screen full screen. So you can go up here to these three dots and uh, click on this button here to make it full screen. And then you can read. Now you can see um, I actually already had this checked out to test it and it took me back to where I was. But it should start you off here at the front page and you can start reading. 
Now, something I should show you is that you can see here, it says borrow ends at 4.35 p.m. Well, it's 3.35 right now, you can see, and uh, or 3.36. That's only an hour. Well, what they do for, uh, for these books is they give you a chance to try the book out and see if you want to borrow it first before you actually commit to borrowing it. So um, it's only for an hour right now that I have the book out. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading the foreword. Um, you know, I just reading a little bit and I'm like, hmm, this book is interesting. I think I want to actually check it out. Well, up here now, you can see I have two buttons, return now or borrow for 14 days. Let me click on borrow for 14 days and it reloads the book. And now I have the book for 14 days. It's going to stay on my account for 14 days. I'm going to start reading principles of economic expansion and I'm reading along and let's just say I'm done reading for the day. I'm here at chapter two. Um, when you're done reading, all you have to do to get out of here is really, you can just close the tab like that. And let's say it's the next day and you come back to independent reading and you're ready to do a little bit more reading. You want to read 20 minutes today. Come back down here to the link for open library. Click on it. And if you didn't log out before, you should still be logged in. Okay. And you're like, I want to get back to Lawn Boy. How do I get there? Well, move your mouse over this outline of a person right here. And by the way, if you don't see that, then that means you need to log in. So just Click login, sign in with your email, and then move your mouse over this outline of a person and you'll see an option called My Loans. And when you click there, um, you can see that you have one current loan, Lawn Boy by Gary Paulson. And over here you have two options, return the book or read. We want to read it. So I'm gonna click there and you'll see it's gonna take me right back into the book reader. And it also keeps track of where I was at. So it's gonna take me right back to chapter two and I can keep on reading which is really, really useful. Uh, it's almost like a built-in bookmark. Now let me go back to the main uh, open library page um, and just go back to the home here and my loans. Okay, now if you don't do anything, if you just keep on reading the book, uh, it will automatically just stay in your loans for two weeks. When you get to the end of two weeks, so at 3.36 p.m. on October 1st, it'll automatically return the book to the, back to the library. But if you finish ahead of time, uh, it's kind to click this white return book button and that will send it back to the library sooner so that if somebody else is waiting for the book, they can get it sooner if, if you finish it before two weeks is up, okay? But otherwise it'll just stay here and then automatically return. There's no like late fees or anything like that. You just, once you're at the end of your loan period, it goes back into the library. Okay. Um, let me show you one other thing. Let's say you're going to read a book and it's one that's really popular and probably a lot of people want to read it. Like, let me just do diary of a wimpy kid for a second. And I type that in and hit enter. And now it's going to come up with a bunch of different diary of a wimpy kids here. Um, and so you can see here, there's different buttons. There's this blue one says check availability, which is typically a sign that means that somebody else has this book out right now. Um, but like this one here, the long haul is available. So I could click on that and I could borrow it. But let me just go to one, this one that says check availability so I can show you. Check availability. It'll take a second to go in. And here's something that I really like about um, Open Library. Even when a book is checked out, they let you um, take the book for a short period of time. So I have Diary of a Wimpy Kid right now. I, I can't borrow it for two weeks right now, but I can do a one hour borrow. So I'm going to just click on one hour borrow. And it's going to open up here and I can just start reading. And now I probably won't be able to read the entire book in one hour. So my borrow is going to end and the book is going to go back into the library. But the nice thing is that let's say tomorrow when I want to keep on reading this, I can come back and do another one hour borrow. Or if you really want to check the book out for the full two weeks, you can go up here and you can see there's an option that says join waitlist for a 14 day borrow. So let me click that and show you. 
And it doesn't change when my borrow ends right now. It still says that in one hour, I have to give this book back. But if I go back to the main open library page here, uh, let me just do this. Okay. And if I go into my click, hover my mouse over my person here, go back to my loans. Um, you can see that uh, I have still currently checked out for one hour Diary of a Wimpy Kid. But then down here, it says books you're waiting for. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, waiting for one day, there's one person ahead of you on the waiting list. So um, the next person, they're going to get the book for two weeks. So probably in about two weeks, I'll be able to check this book out. Okay. Um, but you could also just use that one hour borrow feature if you don't mind doing that. So just another option. Um, I think that's basically all that I was going to say here. Um, again, it's easier to know what you're looking for when you come here. So even if you don't know what book, if you know the author, like let's say you're like, I want to read a Rick Reardon novel. I'm not, I'm not sure what exact book, but I want to read one by him. He writes the Percy Jacksons. Um, it's easier to type the name in or type the title of the book and come and see the options than it is to try and like go through here and try and browse. Um, there's just so many books that they have that it's really hard to browse. So that's my two cents, but I would highly encourage you to think about how you might um, use Open Library to find books that you're looking for. All right, have a great day.